The first five questions, what do they deal with? Which of the following phrases given below in each sentence should replace a word or phrase printed in bold? So it is phrase replacement related questions. Question number 121. In attempting to move ahead, we have forsaken our good cultural even practices. First you should ask yourself, is this right or wrong? The given phrase is right or wrong? Our good culture even practices. Will you say even practices? That is not right. So please mark it wrong. If you look at the phrase our good cultural, that is okay. But the word or expression even practices. We don't have even practices, odd practices. We have even numbers, odd numbers. So that combination is not right. Now you have to select one of the four. Our even good cultural practices. That is also not right. Even our good cultural practices. This seems right. Our good even cultural practices. Not right. Good cultural practices even. But already if you remember when it comes to adverbs like. Please make a note. You have learned this already. They have given in so many exams. If you take the word only. It always comes before the word it describes. A common error, people use it at the end of the sentence. For example, she has solved two problems only. That is not right. She has solved only two problems. The same way here the word even, it is an emphasizing word. It should come before whatever it describes. Based on that, what is the answer? The second option, even our good cultural practices. Here even means what? You are emphasizing. How many of you have chosen the second option? That's right. Sikkim, there is a problem with this question. I have corrected. Please underline the word after. You don't see the word after in bold. They should have given the word after in bold. Then we'll see the sentence. Sikkim has emerged as one of the most after sought tourist destinations in the country. Now first you should become alert when you see the phrase one of the Please underline the phrase, one of the. One of the most, you could underline the word most as well. Then the second thing you have to focus on, please underline the word sought. Which part of speech is it? It is a verb. Which form is it? What is the base form or the present form? Seek. So what is the verb here? Seek, sought, sought. So, sought after. The typical usage, the verb takes the preposition after, not before. Here, what, where do you see that? Before or after? Before. Before is not correct. It should be sought after. That is the right combination. Now, we'll see which option says. The given, option, the given phrase is not correct. Sikkim has emerged as one of the most tourist, tourist destinations sought after. Does it sound right? One of the most sought after tourist destination. Why I said underline the phrase one of the. There are three rules related to this particular phrase. What is the basic rule? Whenever you use the word, the phrase one of the in the basic form, the noun should be plural, the verb should be singular. Then what do we say? One of the students is absent, but common error. One of the student is absent, not correct. And what is the second rule when you use phrases like one of those who or one of the things that then the noun should be plural, the verb also should be plural. She is one of those students who are interested in the subject, not who is interested. Those students who are interested. And what is the third rule that goes with this particular phrase when these phrases are preceded by the word only, then the verb again should be in singular form. Suresh is the only one of our employees who is punctual or who are punctual. Who is punctual. Verb should be singular. What is the reason? The word only preceded the phrase. Now coming to this one, one of the most sought after, that is right, tourist destination. How, why should you reject this one? The noun is in the singular form. So it is not correct. 
Now, what is the third one? Seeking after, not correct. What is the fourth option? One of the most sought after, right? Tourist destinations, absolutely right. So based on that, what is the answer? The fourth option is the answer. Sikkim has emerged as one of the most sought after tourist destinations. Whether you know or not in the entire country, Sikkim is the first state to become completely eco-friendly. A green state or eco-friendly state. The first state to become completely eco-friendly. Shall I move on to the next question? What is the question number? 123. Uttarakhand has struck by a calamity. Underline the word calamity. What, do, what are the other words or what are the synonyms? Calamity means what? Please write. Unfortunate incident. Something like you could write the word misfortune. You could also write the word disaster, a natural disaster, calamity, misfortune or natural disaster or a disaster. So Uttarakhand has struck by a calamity that the state's chief minister has called a Himalayan tsunami. A very short sentence, but here when you look at the sentence, what is the subject here? Please try to respond because a small group. What is the subject of this sentence? Underline the word Uttarakhand. And underline the preposition by a calamity. Now what does, what, which topic should you think of? Uttarakhand cannot do action. It can only receive action. And one clue for you, the preposition by. Then you have to use active voice or passive voice. Passive voice. And this sentence, underline the helping verb has. Struck is a verb. What is the actual verb? Strike. Strike, struck, struck. Then what is missing? Has struck means which tense? Present perfect. Present perfect or past perfect or future perfect. Any perfect tense in passive voice, one word is compulsory. Which word is that? Been. So which option talks about that? Uttarakhand has been struck. How many of you have chosen the first option? Very simple. A question like this, once you select the first option, don't waste your time looking at other options. Because only simple short sentence, present perfect, passive voice, one word is missing, been, the first option, use it, move on to the next question. That way you should know how to save your time. Shall I move on to the next question? <clears throat> question number 124. Again, there is an error with the key. The key is not right. Please listen very carefully. Edward Snowden, in other words, has informed US and British citizens that they have no privacy. Before you read the phrase, one phrase should come to your mind. No privacy whatsoever. What is it? No privacy whatsoever. No exception whatsoever. Generally we say, no exception whatsoever. No privacy whatsoever. So which option says that? This is the answer, but the key says what? Which option does the key say? Whoever, that's absolutely wrong. Key is not correct, please make a note. No privacy, underline the expression no privacy, whatsoever. If you live, this also I don't, there's a problem with the key. If you lived in Delhi and read the sports pages regularly, you might remember seeing Shikhar Dhawan's name emblazoned across headlines for almost a decade now. Though never in the main sports page. How many of you have thought or how many of you think the sentence is absolutely right? That is the answer. Though he talks about something, then he wants to introduce a contrasting idea or information with the word, please underline the word, though, never in the main sports page. What does the key say? Which option does the key say? Are you guys listening? Which option? Third option. What is the third option? Always beside the main sports page. That is ridiculous. Beside means what? Next to. That is not right. Never in the main page. Main sports page. 
Have we done all the five? How do you find these easy or difficult? You guys are not responding. Who has got all the five correct? Very good, I appreciate that student. In my opinion, you should get all the five correct. They're pretty easy. This paper is an easy paper in my opinion. Now, what are the next, the next set of questions? What is it? Para jumble. Now, before we look at the sentences, what is this para jumble about? Are you guys here? I think I've asked a question. So what is this para jumble about? It is about the breakdown of joint family system and highlighting the reasons and also highlighting the village people moving to cities. The reasons, mentioning the reasons. Now when you look at this, the main idea, the topic sentence is about what? The joint family. So which sentence is the first sentence? Shall I take the elimination approach or you can, this is an easy one, or you want to eliminate? We'll take the elimination approach. Can A be the first sentence? Say yes or no at least. Why? The pressure. And also somewhere he uses the word also. Because of these two words it cannot be the first sentence. Today with the establishment of factories, the commodities produced by the village craftsmen cannot compete in quality or price with those produced in factories with the result that the village industry suffered a loss and after some time closed down. But this cannot be the first sentence because it is not an introductory sentence or not the main idea. Just hold that one. The joint family system in India flourished, underline the word flourished, means what? Survived or it did well, flourished in the days of yore, means olden days, long, long ago, when agriculture and trade in the village were in a sound position. This could be the first sentence, hold this also. With the closing down of the village industry, can it be the first sentence? No. Besides, can it be the first sentence? No. Owing to the inrush of people from the villages to the cities, the joint, the Hindu joint family system breaks down. Owing to, that cannot be the first one. So you have to decide between C and D. Which one looks better? Uh, I'm sorry, B and D. As I said, the para jumble is all about what? He starts with the key word, the joint family. The last sentence also about the joint family. So what is the first sentence? C is the first sentence. The joint family system in India flourished in the days of yore when agriculture, please underline these are the clue words for you. Agriculture and trade in the villages were in a sound position. Then he talks about what went wrong with agriculture and trade. So you have to look for the sentence which talks about these two. Which sentence talks about these two? What is the second sentence? B is the second sentence, please write. They did well in the past. Then from the past he comes to the present. How does he express that? Today. He starts with today. He should have used however today. But without that word he started the sentence. Today with the establishment of factories, the commodities produced by the village craftsmen cannot compete in quality or price with those produced in factories with the result that the village industry suffer a loss and after some time closed down. In the first sentence, I told you to underline two key words. What are those two key words? One is agriculture, the other is trade. So this sentence goes with agriculture or trade? Trade, right? So keep that in mind. Then the writer has to present one more sentence which deals with the second factor. One factor, trade. The other factor, agriculture. Now which sentence talks about that? But there the word also is there. Now he talks about the impact of that. Impact means what? The effect of the industries or the new products. What is the impact? Usually what happens? A multinational company comes or uh, goes to a particular village or town. Then what is the result? The local industries, they get wiped out. 
This is what happens. Multinational companies, the indigenous companies, please write the word indigenous. Indigenous means what? Local. Indigenous companies get wiped out. They have to close. Now, based on that, what is the, what is the third sentence? Here there is a clue for you. After some time, close down. Please underline close down. With the closing down of the village industry, the workers move to the city. One, he talks about the trade and the impact. Trade aspect, not agriculture aspect. And he immediately talks about the result. With the closing down of the village industry, the workers move to the city. Now, what is the third sentence? Third or fourth? D is what? Now he talks about the second factor, what is it? Agriculture. The pressure on land is high and the workers on land also are compelled to go to the city to find a job here. One reason why people started going to city? Factories. What is the second reason? Pressure on land. So what is this sentence? What is the number? Four, am I right? Hope you are listening carefully. Then he talks about what should be the next one? Besides, I said two things are very important in this paragraph. One is agriculture, the other is trade. Then he says, besides the, he has given the examples for trade for agriculture. Now continuity of thought. Besides the decline of agriculture and trade, there are other causes which induce people to move to the city. One reason, factories. Second reason, pressure on land. Then he says, continuity of thought. Besides these two factors, other factors are there. Factors for what? Moving to the city. Here you underline the word induce. Induce people to move to the city. Here induce means what? Make people to move to the city. Now what is the sentence you are left with? Owing to the inrush of people from the villages to the cities, the Hindu joint family system breaks down. What is the first sentence about? Hindu joint family system. What is the last sentence about? The same one. So what is the last sentence? F is a... So what is the correct order? C, B, D, A, E, F. Who has got this right? I appreciate those students. In my opinion, this is an easy para jumble. If you read carefully, you can get. Remember, it is not always about the language. No doubt, language helps. It is also about a bit of presence of mind, a bit of common sense. That you, when you have that, you try to figure out the broad framework. So what is the broad framework of this para jumble? He starts with the joint family system. Then he talks about long ago, agriculture was in good position. It was doing well. Then he introduces the present day, what is the situation? Because of the factories, the trade got affected. Then he immediately writes about the impact of that. Then he talks about the second factor, trade, uh, pressure on land. Then he talks about the result of that. There are not only these two factors, then he says other factors are there. And finally, the result of that, joint family got affected. Always try to get the broad framework. What does a writer want to convey? What could be the broad framework? Once you get it, you can arrange the sentences. If you always look at the words, the clue words, pairing words, I don't think you can get. You have to see beyond. First, you have to focus on the language factors. After that, you have to see beyond that and try to get the broader uh, actual framework of that. Shall I move on to the next set of questions? What do they deal with? Fillers. All these fillers are very easy, but we'll see. A few of them are rather philosophical. Of all the problems that have human beings since the beginning of recorded history, comma, perhaps the most significant has been the of their own nature. This is a bit difficult to make out. It is, a, it is philosophical in nature. But generally, because you are all so young, you are not exposed to philosophy, philosophical thought. I don't think you have ever seen books on philosophy. Forget about reading them. 
So, a bit difficult. But generally, when we talk about human nature, human nature is very complicated. Human nature is what? Highly complicated. Very difficult to understand. One of the reasons why it is complicated, why is it difficult to understand, one of the reasons, it changes constantly. Because of that, there is a particular or a popular saying, please make a note of that. Nothing is more. I said, please write. What are, what are you guys doing? Are you here? Nothing is more capricious than human mind. First, you should know the meaning of the word capricious. Capricious means constantly changing. Everyday English, we use the word fickle. Have you heard of the expression fickle-minded? Some people, they keep on changing. Today, IAS, tomorrow, IPS, day after tomorrow, banks, and Saturday, SSE, Monday, some other exam. Then what do you call, what do you say? A fickle-minded person. There is another expression for that. Please write that also. Scatter brain. Fickle-minded person is also called. We say he is a scatter brain. Or she is a scatter brain. She is fickle-minded. He is fickle-minded. So capricious means constantly changing. Because it changes every day, every moment. It is so difficult to understand human nature. Because of that, this has come into existence. What is the meaning of this? Nothing is more capricious than human mind. When something keeps on changing, is it easy to understand the nature of that? Very difficult. So, with that information, let us look at the sentence. What is the basic idea here? It is very difficult to understand human nature. When you don't understand something, what are the words you use? One is puzzle. What is the synonym for puzzle? A riddle. What is the synonym for puzzle? A riddle. Riddle means puzzle. Please make a note. Of all the problems that I have encountered, we'll start with the first one. Encountered is right. The most significant has been the importance of their own nature. That is not right. Please mark this one. Of all the problems that I have perplexed, please underline the word perplexed. Write the meaning confused. Perplexed means what? Confused. The most significant has been the value of. That is also not right. Of all the problems that have questioned, is it grammatically right? That have questioned? No. Of all the problems that have confronted human beings, question human beings? Generally we don't. The problems cannot question human beings, but we confront problems. Confront means what? Come face to face. So this, sent, this word is right. Of all the problems that have confronted human beings since the beginning of the recorded history, perhaps the most significant has been the riddle of their own nature. What is the meaning of the word riddle? Puzzle. Our own nature we cannot. So many books have been written. If you know what exactly you are, you are the ultimate guy. <laughs> Very simple. Self-discovery self is the most difficult thing. People spend years together to find out what they are. Now, what is the answer based on that? Enough of philosophy. What is the answer? The fourth option is the answer. Self this is also a little philosophical, but psychology related. To some extent, practical. Self-concept and self-esteem. Please underline the word esteem, self-esteem. What is the meaning of the word? It, we use both the words, the words together, self-esteem. A, a famous philosopher said, a good self-esteem is worth millions of dollars in the bank account. A good self-esteem is worth millions of dollars in the bank account. What does it mean? Usually a lot of people lack self-esteem. And if you have a lot of money, 
but you don't have self-esteem, it is of no use. Then what is the meaning of the word self-esteem? Self-esteem means positive feeling towards oneself, positive image of oneself. Please write that way. Self-esteem means positive image of oneself. To think positive about oneself, we always think negative, we never think positive. If you have, that is the reason why, if I ask you please come and give a presentation, what will, you, what will be your reaction, first reaction? Spontaneous, uh, no sir, not today, no way sir. So why, somewhere subconscious level you have a negative feeling about yourself, I cannot do. What is a negative feeling? I cannot. That means you lack self-esteem. In a lot of people suffer from this lack of self-esteem. So if you have good self-esteem, nothing like that. So we'll read the sentence. Self-concept and self-esteem are crucial. Crucial means what? Important. To personal and professional effectiveness, absolutely. Because if they are not fully, positive is not the right word. You can reject the first pair. Developed you can consider. Nurtured you can consider. Nourished you can consider. Devised goes with what? Gadgets, not with, uh, not the right word in this context. Now we'll see based on the second word which could be the correct answer. Self-concept and self-esteem are crucial to personal and professional effectiveness because if they're not fully developed, I may act in mystifying and sometimes proactive ways. Here mystifying and underline the expression not fully developed. When they're not fully developed, will you use a positive word or a negative word? The result will be positive or negative? Negative. But what is the word proactive? I gave the other day, proactive means what? To do something before you are told to do that. In a way, to take the initiative and do something. Tomorrow if you go to the private sector, let us say you take up a job in a private sector company, a company that belongs to private sector, quite often they use the word, the expression, it is a buzzword, be proactive, be proactive, means what? Before the manager tells, you should understand based on the situation, what has to be done, take the initiative and do that. So we cannot consider this one based on this particular word, we cannot use a positive word. Hope you are listening carefully. The next one. Uh, crucial to personal and professional effectiveness because if they are not fully nurtured, developed, nurtured, bring up, that's a positive word. Then the second word, I may act in mystifying. What does it mean mystifying? Difficult to understand, Mis mystify means what? Please write the meaning of that word. Mystifying means difficult to understand. You know the word mystery. It comes from that. Mystery means what? Something you cannot understand. Difficult to understand. Mystifying behavior. That behavior you can understand or you cannot understand. You cannot understand. So mystifying and sometimes reactive ways. Reactive. That has a negative connotation. Usually we say don't react. First you listen, don't react. Means what? Positive or negative? Negative. So you can hold that one. I'm not saying that is an answer. Hold that one. And what is the next one? One more is a nourished. That's right. Not fully nourished. I may act in mystifying and sometimes listless. Does it go with this context? No way. So what is the answer here? Nurtured and reactive. How many of you have got this one right? Good. A key factor in an effective and fulfilling life in our complex society is the ability to control over our actions. Now the second part of the idea based on that you can decide. Ability to control over our actions. That should be the clue for you but we'll take the pairs and we'll see. A key factor in achieving an effective and fulfilling life what is the second one? Ability to exert control. Please underline the word exert. Exert means what? Force or apply. Exert control means what? Apply control. 
or execute control also write the word execute and force does it sound right the first one it sounds absolutely right a key factor in achieving an effective and fulfilling life in our complex society is the ability to exert control apply control over our own actions it seems perfect but we'll see other options obtaining in an obtaining in obtaining is it right a key factor in obtaining an effective and fulfilling life in our complex society is the ability to energize control no that is not the right word please strike off whatever i say not relevant here obtaining is okay but energize is not right third one projecting can we use the word projecting no wrong providing can we use the word providing providing effective and fulfilling life no admonish means what admonish we have got this word already reprimand rebuke scold severely all this expressing an effective effective and fulfilling life to withhold control but expressing is not the right word so all this cannot be considered what is the answer question number 133 the first pair is the answer is that the last one pillars 134 to 136 which of the following phrases 1 2 3 and 4 given below should replace the phrase given in bold unfortunately they have not given in bold have they given in bold no but you should be able to make out now we'll see he went to the blast site to save his colleague who was stranding there if you're not attentive you will think the sentence is right on what basis you will see the word stranding you think standing if you take it as standing the sentence is right but what is the word here standing or stranding what is the meaning of the word strand usually we say please write this expression got stranded i got stranded means what to get held up to get stuck to get held up or to get stuck stranded this goes with floods floods time we use this word a lot of villages got stranded so who was stranding there does it sound right first i he went to the blast site to save his colleague who was stranding there perhaps it looks right hold that one we'll see other options but before that i would like to ask a question you have to use active voice or passive voice here how many of you think passive voice raise your hands now in that case is is right or wrong mark it wrong now we have to sell you are right absolutely right we have to use passive voice here had been stranded active voice or passive voice passive has to strand no was being stranding was being stranded passive voice whatever the sentence pattern the verb is always in past participle form here it is in ing form not correct was been stranding this is also not right so what is the option you are left with had been stranded which tense is that past perfect passive voice please make a note past perfect passive voice first he got stranded then this guy went to the blast site what is the use of past perfect tense when two actions happen in the past one after the other for the first action we have to use past perfect for the second action we should we should use past tense same thing here 135 is rather easy what is the answer when i receive the whole sentence goes into past or present it is about past or present or future past how can you say that underline the helping verb was then can you say when i received the letter the date for the interview was already over can you use the verb in the present form no which option says the past form i received the letter when i received the letter that seems right when i when the letter had received it should be when the letter had been received it is not there i had to receive that's not right 
I was receiving no. So what is the answer here? Very simple. You don't have to look beyond. When I received the letter, the date for the interview was already over. How many of you have got this one right? 136. Everyone is requested to attend the dinner party hosted by the president. How many of you think, how many of you respect the fifth option? That's right. The question deserves, what is the answer here? No correction required. Which tense is that? No, it is not over. I'm going to ask a few questions. Which tense is that? It should not take so long. Present continuous? No. Please remember, if you want to mention continuous tense, simple, common sense, point of view, the verb should be in ing form. Whether it is present continuous, I am teaching. Past continuous, I was teaching. Future continuous, I will be teaching. Present perfect continuous, I have been teaching. Past perfect continuous, I had been teaching. Future perfect continuous, I will have been teaching. All the six continuous tenses, the verb will be in which form? ing form. Do you see the ing form here? Then I don't expect continuous, the word continuous, I don't want to. So which tense is it? Present tense. Then the second question, present tense, active voice or passive voice? Passive voice. Then what is the actual sentence? Try to guess the actual sentence in active voice. Imagine the subject is they. They is a the subject. Then tell me. Yes. They is a the subject. Make the sentence in present tense, active voice. They invite everyone. What is it? They invite everyone to attend the dinner party hosted by the president. When you change it to passive voice, what do you get? Everyone is invited by them. We don't mention by them. Everyone is invited or requested. Everyone is requested to attend the dinner party hosted by the president. That is a sentence that has been given. Please write next to it, present tense passive voice. Don't stop with the correct answer. Try to go beyond. Ask yourself, which tense is this? Whether it is in active voice or passive voice. If it is in passive voice, what could be the sentence in active voice? That's how you have to look at the questions. If you practice that way, it becomes easy for you in the long run. Shall I move on to the next set? Phrases again. Here I have given in for being skillful. Is it, uh, we'll read the sentence first. For being skillful and experienced, being skillful and experienced, that is not the right combination. You should understand. The moment you read, this is not right because of the other words. Uh, he is a valuable employee because he is skilled, not correct. Because he is skilled, that is not there. On account he is, that is also not right. On account he is skilled, not right. With his skill and experience, which part of speech is skill? Noun. Which part of speech is experience? So it's a parallel expression with two things. What are the two things? With his skill and experience, he is a valuable employee. So what is the answer here? How many of you have got this one right? Today there are few countries whose growth rate is equally that of. Does it sound right? No. Straight away you can reject. Equalize on. Will you use the word equalize here? Equivalent to. Here, equivalent to that of China. That seems perfect. So what is the answer here? Equals with that of. Not right. On equality with. Not right. But answer is quite obvious. What is the answer? The second option is the answer. The government is willing for finance part of the project. Does it sound right? All these are easy. The government is willingly financed to. No. The government is financially willing. The government is willing to finance. I'm willing to do something. He is willing to come tomorrow. So what is the typical willing to? So willing to do what? Finance part of the project. So what is the answer here? 
we must keep in pace you don't have to see the options this goes with everyday english generally what is the preposition that goes with this particular expression keep pace with what is the word with so which option says that we must keep pace with changing technology to succeed don't see beyond so what is the answer how many of you have got this one right okay now let us move on passage am i right this is an interesting passage easy to understand especially youngsters a short passage interesting you can relate to the passage and the questions also in my opinion very easy but key one or two errors are there is it question number 141 yes what does the passage imply by the word virtual shopping you all know that virtual means what real or not real not real shopping widely not correct shopping spree not correct please underline the word or the expression shopping spree already some of the senior students have given shopping please write one sentence she is on a shopping spree she is on a shopping spree please write the sentence on the preposition on a shopping spree what does it mean imagine someone is getting married they buy a lot of stuff especially clothes and you cannot buy a lot of stuff on one particular day you need four days five days and some people may spend one month also if they have a lot of money and if if they're not good at deciding what is right what is wrong another reason so when people spend a lot of money for a long time then we use the expression she they buy a lot of stuff she is on a shopping spree they are on a shopping spree that's what it means it is not right literal shopping has it got anything to do with literature virtual shopping no net shopping just yes, hold that one and what is the last one a wider perspective of ecom but virtual shopping means what which option online online means what net shopping so what is answer the fourth option is the answer how many of you have got this one right please raise your hands okay question number 142 why is it risky to pay online it reveals the identity of the buyer if people know who you are it, it is not risky so not right you have to underline the word risky people know who you are is it risky absolutely no it intrudes upon the privacy of the buyer in a way privacy people know you not risky not harmful this is also not right the buyer is apprehensive of his credit card details going over the net your credit card details if they go over the net definitely it is a risky thing we'll see the other options the merchants may record the buyer's purchasing habits no problem whether you buy every day or once a week they come to know it doesn't affect you in any way so based on that what is the answer the third option the buyer is apprehensive please underline the word apprehensive you have got this word many a time apprehensive means what a feeling that something bad is going to happen a feeling that something bad is going to happen apprehensive about the project that means what he doesn't have confidence in the project which of the following statement is or are true i think there's a problem with the key this question cyberspace has opened an immense wealth of services but has affected the economy too is it right or wrong how many of you say it is right absolutely right clearly mentioned explicit data privacy is no longer a thing of the past this is contradictory to what the passage says according to the passage in the past we had privacy now we don't have the privacy so data privacy is no longer a thing of the past it is still a thing of the past so it is not right people in developing countries use online shopping as a routine mode in developing countries or developed countries developed countries so is this right or wrong wrong so what is the answer then only a is the answer but the key says what whatever it is the key is not right answer is only a no second thoughts about that 
What is the author's view regarding shopping on the web? Shopping on the net makes the buyers wary of financial transactions. Underline the word wary. Means what? To be wary. You got this expression the other day. To be cautious, to be careful, to be prudent. Please write to be cautious, to be wary. Please write the expression to be wary means what? To be cautious, to be careful, to be prudent. Prudent means what? Clever, wise, you're right. So does it seem right or wrong? It seems right. Shopping in the stores is, is an obsolete idea. You cannot say. Now online shopping is becoming popular. Uh, today also we go to the shop, we, we go to the market, supermarket. So two is not right, market wrong. Net shopping has affected our economy on the whole. To some extent this is right. Just hold this one. Payment by credit card easily outnumbers cash transactions. We cannot say that. Still, it takes some time. This is also not right. Now you have to decide between the first option and the third option. Shopping on the net makes, what is the question? What is the author's view regarding shopping on the web? The question is about what? Shopping. It is not about the economy. So based on that, what is the answer? How many of you have chosen the first one? Perfect. Not the fourth. Though the fourth option is right, the question is about what? Shopping. So the first option goes with shopping. Very simple. Sometimes what happens, you don't focus on key words. Then you get confused and you may go for the wrong option. Why has online shopping caught on so much in the US and Canada? This is not related to explicit information. It is related to implicit information. Common sense, if you take the pace of life, it is fast here or there. The pace means speed, speed of life. Western countries or Eastern countries? Western countries. That is the reason why today this concept, do you know why this has become very popular? Fast food. It became very popular in the Western countries. Now it is popular in our country. Do you know the reason behind? All these Westerners, for them, work is worship. What is it? Work is worship. They work Monday to Friday like bulls. Every minute they work with a lot of dedication. Saturday, Sunday, they freak out. Freak out means what? They enjoy a lot. So they don't want to waste their time. If they take a break for lunch, how much time do they have to lose? Say about an hour. So what they, if they have to stop for breakfast, they have to lose another half an hour or 45 minutes. So those who are very conscious about, who were conscious about time, work, from the work point of view, they thought we should have something quickly. We should not stop. While moving, we should have something. Then this fast food concept came into existence. The burgers, the pizza, all these things. Have you ever noticed? You don't have to sit and have. Imagine a, what do you call it, a burger. Do you have to sit and have? While walking, you can have. Take a pizza, do you have to sit and have? But your regular lunch, rice and all, you have to sit. Can you have while walking? So that's how this fast food concept caught up. Then many Americans started preferring, they started going for fast food. All these so-called fast food stuff. For breakfast, for lunch, at the workplace. At the workplace, they imagine they would work and some important work they're engaged, they don't want to stop and go out and have lunch. It's a sheer waste of time. So they thought we should continue with the work, at the same time we should have the food. So what is the solution for that? Fast food is a solution. Imagine you have a burger next to you, or a hot dog next to you. You all know hot dog, not the literal meaning. The one you have. So you have a hot dog, you can have a bite, continue with your work. Again, you can have a bite, you can continue. So that's how this one has become very popular. If you are aware of that, you get this question right. So what is our first option? The developed countries can well afford to indulge in such luxuries. No, not right. The pace of life is super fast in these countries. That is the answer. But how many of you know that? Please, how many of you have got this one right? Raise your hands. It is a bit difficult to make out. That's why I say some of the questions depend on language, some of the questions depend on exposure to the world, 
exposure to various topics and because of that i always tell the students take please take this word always take a holistic approach when you learn never take an isolated approach holistic approach please underline the word holistic holistic means what complete approach touching every dimension when you try to learn try to learn completely then you are in a position to handle any situation you learn something here something there it's always a problem holistic approach helps you in the long run now what is 146 to 148 looks like we are running out of time same meaning environment if you don't read the passage you will go for what which option the second option but based on the context what is the meaning provision very good answer is the first option not the second option that's why I always tell read the passage then you look at the words browse easy one what does it mean the actual meaning of the word browse standard meaning to read leisurely to read casually from that reading it has come to using the computer doing something leisurely online that's what we call browsing but actual meaning reading leisurely please make a note so what is the answer here the third option examine leisurely how many of you have got this one right this goes with you people young generation you all browse regularly do you browse or not browsing browsing means what you look go through certain sites very casually and that is what we call browsing I'm really surprised. Now here there's a problem. It is not modern. As far as my knowledge goes, it should be modern. You all know the word modern. In the past people would, would use modern for internet connectivity. Now the word is not in the limelight, I suppose. So modern is not the right word. Here it should, they should have used the word modern. And what is the answer based on that? It is not an appliance. Appliance goes with the domestic use but modem goes with office then we use the word gadget what is the word gadget is the answer that's a bit difficult to make out opposite this is an important word please put a star mark geopardize means what harmful very good please write the meaning risky or harmful is the exact word also write the word dangerous dangerous OUS he wants opposite meaning so what is the answer here safe or secure which one based on the context what where is the word do you have the hard copy just read the sentence once So which one sounds better, safe or secure? How many of you go for secure? Then I will tell the reason. Secure. How many of you want to go for safe? Now imagine both mean the same. Then in a situation like that, in the past they gave the questions. What they would do, they would, go, they would give two words, synonyms. One goes with everyday English, one goes with effective English. Now safe goes with everyday English, secure goes with formal or effective English. So which one do you have to choose? Everyday English word or effective English word? So obviously what is the answer here? Secure. Peering. From the context what do you understand? Peering means looking or seeing directly. Directly. In the shop you are doing something then the shopkeeper, the shop assistant, he looks. There is nothing between you and the person. So you have to choose a word which is opposite. Leaning does not go with seeing this context. Looking, direct. Staring, direct. Peeking, direct. But what is the last word? Peeping. Peeping means what? To see someone or something secretly. Please write the meaning. To see. You see openly. What is opposite? You see secretly. Then we use the word peep. Imagine there is a girl or a boy over there, they try to see what is happening inside secretly. Then what is the word we use? Peep. 
From this, if you go to the Western countries again, they have security issues. Every house you have this peep hole. Please write the word expression. Peep hole. They don't open the door. In our country, if someone knocks the door or presses the bell, what do you do? First, open the door. No second thoughts. But there it is very dangerous. They never do it. First, they, see, they try to see who it is. They try to make out who the person is. And they see through the peep hole. A familiar person, they open the door. A stranger, never. They don't open the door. This person may say, I brought some gifts. I brought something. I'm from the bank. Whatever the person says, if the person is a stranger, they don't open the door. Very simple. So, what is the answer here? The fifth option is the answer. How many words are still there? We can do easy one. Banks are, what is the answer here? Different. Because in the next sentence he uses how they are different. Based on that you can make out. Banks are different from other corporate in important important aspects. What is it? Aspects. Not perspectives, leads, manners, policies. Aspects. So how does the sentence go? Bankers are different from other corporate in important aspects and that makes corporate governance of banks not only different. See I said they have used the word different but also more critical. Critical means what? One of the meanings, important. Banks facilitate economic growth are the what? Here it's a little tricky. Agents, catalyst. Motivators, not right. Points, not at all right. Ingredients, not at all right. Between the two, you have to choose. They are not the catalyst. They don't bring about the change. Catalyst means what? Something that brings about change, that causes a reaction. Catalyst is a chemistry word. You all must be knowing. Which compound, compound is known as a catalyst? Enzymes. Enzymes are catalysts. They bring about change. Banks don't do that. They simply the only agents. So what is the answer here? The first option is the answer. By the very, you don't have to see the options of their business. What is the word? Nature. Very good. By the very nature of their business, Banks are highly leveraged. Please underline the word leveraged. Oh, write the meaning. Leverage means to take full advantage of something. To take full advantage of something. I'm sorry. So what is the answer here? Nature. They accept large amounts of uncollateralized public funds as deposits. They accept something as what? As deposit. So what is the answer here? Hope you guys are listening. E these are easy or difficult? Easy. As deposits. Banks are interconnected in diverse, complex and opaque ways. Opaque, what is the opposite word? Transparent. Tra See-through. Transparent, opposite, opaque. Ways of ways underscoring their contagion potential if a corporate fails the i think you got this word the other day what is the word what you have said is right fall out a negative impact a negative result can be restricted to the stakeholders if a bank fails the impact can something can what spread right what is the answer here only one girl is responding others are not responding and whatever she says she's coming up with the right answers spread is the right word what is the next one spread rapidly to, uh, through to other banks with potentially serious consequences further for what this i'm not convinced instable what is the answer the second option you have to choose because other words are not acceptable. Instable financial system and the macro economy. While regulations has a music game a role. So what is the answer here? A role to play. Very simple. Regulations 
while regulation has a role to play in ensuring robust corporate standards in banks, the point to recognize is that this is again a little difficult. Either it should be not miscalculated, not estimated, not imaginative, it should be hard regulations or calculated regulations. Hard, I don't think so. Regulations as such, we don't, they are hard. Regulations are never easy. Rules and regulations are always difficult to practice, difficult to implement. These regulations, calculated, not calculated, that makes a better uh, choice. So based on that, what is the answer? Calculated regulations. Before they come up with regulations, they always think. They don't think, they don't come up with regulations just like that. So it is calculated. Based on that, not hard regulations, calculated regulations. Is that the last one? So how do you find this paper? Easy or difficult? In my opinion, this is an easy paper. You should get in the range of between 25 and 30. Should not be a problem. Has anyone got 25 plus? 20 plus, how many? That is also appreciable. Nothing to worry. So we'll stop here. Thank you very much.